Kisman's part. But if he will not do the part of Kisman for me, then will I do the part of Kisman for thee. As the Lord liveth, lie down until the morning. Go na usiku uno. Lude yote anafunika agone. Ndipo kuzali mawa, aga kuo mbulera, chabu ino. Aga kuo mbulera. Kwa mangati safu na kuo mbulera, pali Yehova, ndiza kuo mbulera, cholo wa ndine, gona mpaka mawa. 14. And she lay at his feet until the morning, that is Ruth, rain. And she rose up before one could know another. And he said, let it not be known that a woman came into the throne. Ndimea 14. Na gona kukapaziaje mpaka mawa, lude yo anagona. Na la wina, asa na zindikirane antu. Pakuti anati, chisa ziwike kutinkazi yo anaza pobuntirapo. Here it was a long conversation between a church and the Jesus Christ himself. Abadu magwone ka mkambirano wa utari, kapina kutu kulangkula na kwa utari, kumende kuna chitika, pakati pa krismu ni mpingo wake. It was a very strong meeting that was there between Boaz and Ruth. Because we see that everybody was down, everybody get asleep, but it was the time of talking, inspiring from Boaz to Ruth. Chifuwe inali ntawi, mene wina aje nse anali ata gona, ali nkulo, kumano kwa lute ndi Boaz, inali ntawi subano ya kulankulana. After the conversation, or in the midst of the conversation, Boaz speak to Ruth that Ruth is to tarry with him, which means when Boaz is to sleep, let Ruth sleep with Boaz. Ndiyadu ali nkani kukula nkula na muondi, pamene timaona, Boaz akumuza wa lute kuti agone. Kutanta wa zogonena kuti Boaz akagona lute wafunika na ensu agone po mwepo. Why Boaz told Ruth? to sleep to tarry the whole night with him. <laughs> this was so because Boaz was not preaching another gospel, but the same singular gospel that starts from the Genesis, the book of Genesis, when Adam was asleep in a deep sleep. Ijitu ujinali joe nchi ujifu kuti boazi ama lati kila utenga umena maka foto kwa zera ujoke na pajiyati mula genesifu. Pamene pama waka oneka kugona kumena ama muza boazi waka kugona ishpandi pamene pati pajitike papangike mpingo wake. Because we see the Bible says that God bring a deep sleep to Adam so that when Adam will be asleep then Hava will come out from him. Before Hava get out from Adam, God bring sleepiness to Adam. So that very first minute, our second day, when Adam was sleeping, the same time automatically, Hava slept inside Adam. Ndile nuka ntawe kake kwa mwe kuka, mene Adam anagona, ntulo ni mene mungu anapasa, dija ntawe yake nari yungwe, so mene Eva anagona mbali mwa Adam. God bring sleepiness, deep sleep to Adam, Hava Evi sleep automatically inside him, Adam. Nde mulungu wanabele kada ala tulo kwa Adamu, kuti pa onekele kukona kwa Eva kiti mwake mwa Adamu. When Adam was sleeping, if same time slept inside Adam. Pa mene tu Adam wana gona, Eva ntayo mweyo anaka gona, sono mtiti mwake mwa Adamu. In the process of sleeping inside Adam, Mundo ndome kwa ya kukona kwa Adam. 
in the process of sleeping inside Adam that is it ndiye tu mundondomeko yaku gona mshiti mwa Adam amenga nagona Eva the same time god was doing in the work of taking out it out from Adam ndiye nawe yake naliyo mweyo imene mulungu ana kamtulusa Eva kutokera kwa Adam so after Adam get slept Eva was taken out and was arrived then is when adam uh, was given resentment he arises he was awake from the sleepness after eight, after it is already out and arrived ndero banali bambuyo onena kuti mulungu wakutulusa eva kutokera mwa adam mpamene sono ana kamdzusa adam adam uja kuti azuke kutoka kutuluta ake if wake up first and adam woke up second and see if already arrived so that he should welcome his own ndiye to eva anadzuka poyamba kenapo adam kudzuka ndipo onse atakhani moyo ndipo pamene ana kamulandi ana kamulandira so pano mkazi same when christ was on the cross bible says a soldier pierced his side and blood and water came out from the body ilitu njimodzi modzi mwifa ya pamtanda yambuye watu Yesu Kristu bible ali malankula kuti nsirikali anamgwaza ambuye mchiti ndipo mtsudzi mwake mwa munatuka mwazi ndi mazi the church get arrive get up area before Christ raised from the dead after taking three days barrio has been done ndiye tumpingo unadzuka poyamba ndumene unadzuka moyambirira ambuye Yesu asana kagone mmanda masiku atatu aje ndikuti auke kwa kufa because we see that Christ died on the cross and the life of Christ was given to the church inside his body that was uh, that that kept out after peace the hour peace his society by the soldier ndifandi kuona mwifa ya pamtanda kuti ambuye Yesu atapachikidwa pamtanda poyamba chine china chitika kuti nsirikali atagwaza mchiti mpingo unatuluka poyamba Kristu yo ali pamtanda so when Christ raised up from the dead he saw his own church he welcomes his own church that he has saved both by his own precious blood ndiye tumene ambuye Yesu amakawaka kwa kufa anazipeza mpingo jaro tuluka kale ndipo yeyo anaulandira kunena tuza mpingo mene yeyo ana ukulumusa ana uyeresa ndi magazi yake omka we have been saved by his precious blood that was shed on the cross of calvary ndapulumusidwa kuti ifi ndi mwanzi wa mtengo wache umene unakesedwa pa mtanda so there was a need of night tarrying because the process of sleeping together is the bringing it right to the church that was first dead so that it should be up ndiro bana kunika kugona poyamba kuti pachitike dongosolo la kudzuka la kudzusidwa kwa mpingo umene pingo ana ofera uja kuti ukadzuke kuti poyamba bana kunika pakhali kugona kaye the sleeping together of the church and Christ was the quickening of the church to rise ndiyo kugona pa mozi kwa mpingo ndi Kristu kumene kuna chitika kuna kape kuna kakhala kupeleka moyo Kristo amakapeleka moyo kwa mpingo wake so Ruth had to sleep with Boaz so that in the process of sleeping all the things needed to be given to Ruth ndiye tulute anafunika kugona pa mozi ndi Boaz kuti nkale mwa kugona ako zonse zofunikira zipelekedwe kwa Ruth and he said he should sleep until morning which means everything needed to be finished until morning that is complete salvation given to Ruth ndipo ichi 
mtu nchifanya gana nina kutia kwenye kufikira mbawa jifapo kufikira mbawa ndia kutikina jini chose chikala kuti chapasibia sono kwa luti jimene jina kufikira kuta hapasibia hicho so Ruth was given complete of everything to her ndia Ruth anapasibia chose chote kiratu Christ is our complete is our salvation he gave us everything in complete Ndipo Yesu Kristu ndiye kuthekera kwathu amene ndiye chipulumuso chathu ndipo anati pasa chipulumuso cho chothekera athu Now what happened in the morning is that it continues in the midst of the sentence whereby it says that if you will uh, that if he will perform unto thee the part of this man well let him do the this man part but if you will not do then uh, do the part of this man to thee then I will do the part of this man to thee Ndiye mundime ya seti niyo akuone sira sopano chimene chiti chichitike mbamba wa kutungwa maize kuzika chikarebo nchani ifuwa ndime ya edi nkati mwa kunena kukuti aka kuombo lera haja wino aka uh, kuombo lere kwa manga atisafu na kuombo lera pari yehova ndiza kuombo lera cholo wa ndine When Boaz was speaking this she he was giving the total hope that he is the kiss man to Ruth and nobody can manage to kissman up ndiye tumene mboa za makala mkraizi amakapeleka chiyembekezo chonse kwa lute kunena kuti yeye ndiye omwombolera ndiye palibe munthu ina amena kuzo kala omwombolera because at again here when he said if he fails he will not do then i will do the part of kissman it doesn't mean that boa was doubting the first kissman but He was knowing boldly that the first kiss man was not come to kiss man her but he is the only one a kiss man to her Ndiponso mundi make umena kunena kuti komangati safu na kuombolera apo wose kuti amakaikira Boaz kunena kuti sanga athi kuombolera kana kuti pali wina kana kuti kuzo kuombolera koma makafoto kozera modziwika bwino kunena kuti omuombolera ndiye ndipo pali pe wina samena kuzo kuombolera because when people are preaching the message they preach like there was a debate between the first kiss man and the second kiss man it wasn't like that chifwa bana akamala likira uthenga amala nkulanga ndi kunena kuti banali ntsuso pakati pa ombolera oya pa ndombole ombolera wachiri pa mitsi dzili chonjo ayi there was no options part 1 or part 2 it was completely how the lord designed it that the first kiss man is just to keep this place until the second kiss man that will be uh, that will kiss man the red the ruth and will completely redeem her chifu wanu josika njonena kuti banali bensuso wina uli wonse ai koma kuti ombolera oyambayo anafuneka kuti angomsunga nkaziyo akufikira nthawi yoyika kunena kuti ombolera wachiwiri yo akamuombole According to the design of salvation God purposes first the Lord to come not to save the person but to keep the person the church to keep it safe waiting for the grace to come and kiss man it Monga no makupangira ndi kwamulungu patongoso lake la chipulu musomera na chipangira anaichika kuti chikhale chonjo kuti la mulo lisakhale la kumpulumusa munthu komalingo musunga poyembekezera ombolera wachiri amene ndi Kristu kuti adza uombole It was not the law of Pharaoh then let us try but be it was a try now Sikuti ndula muloni na Yesu ngulephera ndiye kuna lino kuti Yesu njira yachiwiri sizina lichonjo hayi Because Boaz is completely saying here the last sentence in the minute in in that verse three, whereby it says verse 13 As the Lord liveth right down until the morning Jifukwa ndime ina amene ikula nkulira nkati mwa kumapeto kwa nusu yake ya 13 iyo Bible likula nkula momveka bwino kunena kuti pali Yehova ndiza kuombolera cholo wa ndine gona mpaka mawa So it is as the Lord live that Ruth is to be kissed by Boaz Ndiye ndo apa dzikone gerado kunena kuti mulungu monga wakupangira ndo kwa mulungu chifanyana na nkula kuti pali Yehova a mulungu anachipangira ndo chimenecho kuti Boaz ndamena dzawombolere rute 
This is according to the Lord record that Boaz was there as a kissman to Ruth because the first kissman is not is referring to kissman Ruth because God designed it to be like love. So Ruth was commanded by Boaz according to the scripture as the Lord delivered. The church has been redeemed by grace by Jesus Christ according to the scriptures as the Lord delivered. Mpingo unaombolelewa kundi Kristu yeka monga mama lemba pali Yehova But the question might be how was the process of kissmaning done Komaru mwina fuso komale na kuti kodi pana lidongo tsolo lanji la kuombolera ko Because when we are talking about kissmaning we are talking about the sharing and buying there is a process of buying something because of something when adam sinned all sinned against god and we were under the dominion of the devil the ruler of this earth but when Christ came as the upper ruler, as the, the creator of this universe, came to redeem a person, he paid his blood so that his own elect might be redeemed by saved by his grace. When Christ was dying on the cross, he was paying a price. The process was selling and buying. He was paying a price so that his own elect should be redeemed back to himself. Now the person, how was the process of kiss money? Let us go to chapter 4, verse 1, downwards of, of Ruth, chapter 4. Verse 1 it starts by saying, Then went Boaz up to the gate and sat him down there, and he behold the kissman of whom Boaz spake came back and told them to decide, Oh, such a one, turn aside, sit down here. And he turned aside and sat down. Ndipo Boaz anakwera kuunga kuchipa kuchipata na akala pansi pomwepo. Ndipo taona waombolera winayo adanena. Boaz anali nkupita. Na atiye iwe uja pambuka akala pansi apa. Pambuka uh, pambuka iye na pambuka iye na akala pansi. Iye speaking to kids man. Boaz and the, the first one. That is law and grace. Two. And he took ten men of the elders of the city and said, Sit ye down here, and they sat down. It means now there was people surrounding, people crowding in the process of kiss money. 
Zomwezi kanta uza soba ano kunina kutitu banali anta menana zungulira malo, anta menana unzikana ba ndondomego ya kuombo lera. Let the people sit down and see the kiss money as the witness of tomorrow. Regani anta wakale pansi kuti aone ombo lera ayo munga mboni ya bambawa. So here there is ten men, the elders of the city sat down waiting to see and hear how the kiss money will be done. Nero apa pagone sudah sudah aku lah aku lah muzi ada kasih ada kalapan sih kuembe kuembe kezira zaman boleh rayu cuma ni jadi jadi ke. Verse three and he said unto the kiss man that is the kiss man Naomi that is come again out of the country of Moab set up a parcel of land which was our brother and Merak's. Di mana kita tu? Bagaimana bo anati kaum boleh rayu? Naomi anak boleh rayu. Kuzi kula muabu ati ati aguli seka ziko kaja kadari kadari kam barewa tu eri mereki. Here it shows that the first and second kissman were the brothers to eri mereki. And he is speaking about the selling and buying of the parcel of land that no one is selling. Ndiyo apa apa kwenye kera au ombolera awi ni wakuti ni baji baadhi ameni ndiyo anali abari ya kiairi mireki ni wao kala pansi ni kufuna kugula kumasu kuguli sa a kama kama muzi kama bari wao eri mireki. Verse four and I thought to advertise thee saying thee. Back it before the inhabitants and before the elders of my people. If thou redeem it, redeem it. But if thou will not redeem it, then tell me that I may know, for there is none to redeem it beside thee. And I am, with, I am after thee. And he said, I will redeem it. Ndi mejina hii, ndi kwa dati, ndi po ndati, ndi kulu ila ichi, ndi kuti. Ukule aga pa maso pa nzika, ndi pa maso pa kulu wa antu, akwa tu. Uka kuna kuombola, kuombola. Kuma uka panda kuombola, undi uze ndi ziwe. Pa kuti palibe uombola, kuma iwe ndine, pa mbuyo pako, pa mene po adati, ndi za uombola. Here it is, it shows that the ten people, elders of the city, where the representatives of the people of the city seeing the process of redeeming, buying the parcel of the land and the first Christmas says I will redeem it before ten elders seeing it. Ndiye nuru ababa kwenye kera kuti akula akula muzi mena na kala haja ama kai mira muzi wansi muzi wansi nga timboni yone na kuti awone aga kare mboni ya kukula kapena kuti kuombola ka muzi kopa mene wombola ayo ana na kukula zina kuti iza wombola Verse 5 Then said boss What day thou buyest the field of the land of now thou must buy it also of root the Mobats, the wife of the dead, raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance. Imeaji sanu, nadi boaz, sikulo mwero, nadi boaz, sikulo mwero ukula mundao, pazanjala naomi, ukula nso walute moabu. Mkazi wa wakufayo, kuhusi la zina la wakufayo, cholo wajache. Now it came to the climax, crucial situation, Crucial time because this kiss man, first kiss man, was thinking of buying only the Naomi's pastoral land, except Ruth, the wife of Maron. Yet, Abapano, the Gano Kalajo of Buddha, one bidi, Wombo, the Royambayo, the Wombo, the Royambayo, Amagani Zangati, Wombo, the Wadang Wombo, Aka Zikoka. Na kaziko kakiliyo ni kaja kwa Naomi, kwa sasi wa kutipa iso lute, amina kufunika kutawa mbunedu ita uyo mweyo. According to the design of the Lord, it purposes it before the foundation of the world, is that 
during the time of redeeming, the time of kismaning, the kisman is to kisman the land of Rua of Naone, that pastor ran, including Luz, the Mobites. Before we continue on that, let us go back to the book of Genesis, chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12. We see from this one downwards, whereby one to this one twenty-three, it says this one. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of the land of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, and to a land that I should thee. Verse two. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name. And thou shalt be a blessing. Nimea dewea mandeji wili mbukula Genesis chapter 12. Agudi ndiboe Yehova anadi wa Abrahamu. Kwa Abrahamu. Kuluga iwe mziko lako. Ndiku wabare yako. Ndiku nyumba ya tate wako. Unga kuziko limene ndiza kusonye za iwe. Tu. Ndiku ndiza kuyesa iwe. Mtundu wa ukulu. Ndiku ndiza kudalisa iwe. Ndiku kukisa zina lako. Nukare iwe ndaliso. Three, and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Ndi mea jita atu akuti ndipo, ndipo ndi zaku darisa, ndi zaku darisa amene aku darisa iwe, ndi kutembele la iya amene aku tembele la iwe, ndi mwa iwe azadarisidwa, mabanja onse azikola pansi. Here we see God calling Abraham from worshiping idols to be his friend. Ndero abati kuona mulungu wa kumwita na Abraham kuchokera ku mene iye ana likopembeza mafano kuti sopano asare wa pasima wa mulungu. God first is blessing Abraham on his own that he is a blessing. Ndiyo boyamba mulungu anamla nkula Abrahamu kumudalisa kwa keko kuti yeye ndo dalitsika. The second is blessing him by giving him a great nation a descendants from his wrist. Komanso ndo dalitsolina limene tikuliona hapa ndiyo na kuti akumudalisa Abraham kale iwo onse mama iwo onse akudalisa kuti vacha dalitsolime kuti kwa Abraham. He is blessing Abraham a great nation, not nations. Ndiyo agumuda lisa Abraham umonga mbado kabena kuti mkala mbado wa ukulu osa nime mbado hai. Agumuda lisa Abraham ngadi ana amtubilake umonga fuko laliku. And he said, I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. Ndivo anane na kulima kuti ndiza kudalisa iwe ndi kukupanga kukhala mtundu wa ukulu. And here we see that God is blessing Abraham having the offspring having the descendants are coming from his own body. He is a blessing. Ndipo mkudaliso wa Abraham umene Mungu akumpasa akulamulira kunena kuti kwai yense amena zaduka mwa yeye azala ndi tasodalisolo. Other blessing, the third one is on verse three, whereby it says, In this shall all families of the earth be blessed. Who are all the families of the earth? of the earth that the Lord said will be blessed. These are a word by word from different 
languages, tongues, meaning the Gentiles get blessed because of Abraham. So there is a blessing of all families, or meaning there is a blessing of the Gentiles, and there is a blessing of the offspring of his own body. So there is people come by body that is his right from his own body, but there is Gentiles again blessed with the same blessing. So now, when the Lord was speaking, when Paul was speaking to first kissman, the first kissman was thinking that he has come only to kiss money. Naomi's pastor of Randy, not Ruth in Croatia, because he was thinking about the blessing of the offspring of the body of Abraham, not of families across the world.
So when we go back into the book of Ruth, the first kiss man fails to kiss man both Naomi's pastor of land and Ruth because he was thinking that the one to be kiss man is only the pastor of land of now. Kadi ya kuti ombola oya madare pela ombola lute chifoya magari sanga ndi ada ikidwa uka ombola lute kosa ndi ombola so Ruth Ruth is a representative of the church of Christ the gentiles that are to be taken from afar into his body by his death lute ndi mulo wa malo watu amene akuimira chikumutso cha mitundu amene atengedwa kutara ndi kuti akalowe nakala mwa iye so salvation is by grace and grace alone pachifukwa icho chikumutso ndi chisomo the one to kiss man is to kiss man both ruth and the pastor Land of Naomi. Ye opombola, awombole lute, pamozi ni cholo wacha Naomi. The two kismat ones stands for the salvation of both the Gentiles and Jews because they are one in his body. Wombole dokwant hawiri once awa, abu imira chukurumuto, cha onse amene ndi amodzi wa Kristo Yesu mtubirake so when we go back into the book of Ruth chapter 4 yeti kabwelera mbuku la Ruka uh, la Ruta chapter 4 verse 4 ndi maka 5 then said Boaz ndi bwana ali Boaz what day thou buyest the field of the land of Naomi thou must buy it also of Ruth the Moabite the wife of the dead to raise up the name for the dead upon his inheritance a uri tsikuli mene ndipo Boaz anati tsikuli mene ndawo imena kuti ugule munda wa Naomi tawo yomweyo ugulenso lute mobai mobai Moabu ikasi wake wa kufayo kuti ukitsire tsidalo cholowa Verse six, the mother six, and the kiss man said, "The boy Gombola Yanati, I cannot redeem it for myself. Sending at a tomb for the landeka, lest I ma my own inheritance. Ninga tuono ngerende katoloa, redeem thou my right to ma to thyself. Tuombo le lewe kamalo ma ine, for I cannot redeem it." This is the bodily confession of the first kiss man hand over all the work to the second kiss man Boaz to kiss man uh, in praise of him Ukutu kudali kuvomeresa chikomereso cha wombora woyamba kupereka anthu onse manja kupereka chikomboro chonse manja mwa wombora wachiwiri kuti aombole malomake This is why how the law and Christ correspond to each other. Umundi mene Kristu ndichina mulo chitapangira. The law was there but fails to save the people but led the people to Christ. Chira mulo chitali pamene but chitale pera kuprumutsa kuba chitalenga anthu kuapereka kwa Yesu Kristu. Christ saved the people that the law Kristo adapurumutsa anthu amene chiramulo chida wasunga we have been saved by the blood of Jesus Christ the purchaser redeemer kissman of his own church taomboledwa tagulidwa nemwazi wa Yesu Kristo amene ndi muombo ali wanthu wake lord and honor be unto him 
because he purposes and deserves all, all the glory and honor because of his salvation. Ule mdi madama andazipite kwa iye, kufezo ndiye wa indila ule mdi mako zeketo, kuhini, what's in the zone said, 